Jacques Roux, the 21st of August 1752 to the 10th of February 1794, was a radical Roman Catholic priest who took an active role in politics during the French Revolution. He skillfully expounded the ideals of popular democracy and classless society to crowds of Parisian sans culottes, working class wage earners and shopkeepers, radicalizing them into a dangerous revolutionary force. He became a leader of a popular far left. <laughs> Radical revolutionary In 1791, Roux was elected to the Paris Commune. When the French First Republic started in 1792, Roux became aligned with the political faction dubbed by their enemies as the Enragés French pronunciation, a, e, French for the enraged ones but also a «madman». He was considered the most extreme spokesman on the left for the interests of the Parisian sans-culottes. Roux consistently fought for an economically equal society, turning the crowds of sans-culottes against the bourgeois torpor of the Jacobins. He demanded that food be made available to every member of society, and called for the wealthy to be executed should they hoard it. Rue tirelessly voiced the demands of the poor Parisian population to confiscate aristocratic wealth and provide affordable bread. He became popular enough that, as the split between the Girondins and the Montagnards grew wider, his voice helped remove the Girondins from the National Convention in 1793. Manifesto of the Enragés In a controversial 1793 address to the National Convention that's been dubbed the Manifesto of the Enragés, Rue demanded the abolition of private property and class society in the name of the people he represented. Six, in many ways Rue and the Enragés were prescient in anticipating many of the themes Karl Marx would develop in his analytical theory decades later. Soon, Rue's incendiary rhetoric was igniting food riots and upsetting the balance of power within the Paris Commune. Maximilien Robespierre, fearing Rue threatened the dominance of the Jacobin government, presented accusations of him being a foreign spy intentionally trying to disrupt the revolutionary government and the Committee of Public Safety. One, during this time, Rue's former friend, Jean Paul Merritt, also turned against him, writing in his newspaper, L'Ami du Pupil, that Rue was a false priest that was only interested in religion as long as it provided income. Seven, on July 7, 1793, Rue's enemies brought Elizabeth Marguerite Ebert in for questioning in an attempt to charge Rue with extortion and «misappropriation of charitable funds». Ebert was a recent widow with no means to support herself and, two years earlier, Rue had agreed to raise funds for her and her family. When asked if Rue had an ulterior motive, she replied that she did not believe he did. Five, he wasn't arrested then, but in August 1793, Rue was arrested under the charges that he had withheld funds from both the widow Ebert and another widow, Mlle Borapair. Rue assured the Revolutionary Committee of Section Gravilliers that he did nothing of the sort and that his enemies were working against him. Five, Rue was released into the custody of two of his friends, where he continued fighting for his ideals. On September 5, 1793, Rue was thrown into prison again. <laughs> Death On January 14, 1794, Rue was informed that his case was going to be tried by the Revolutionary Tribunal. Upon hearing this news, Rue pulled out a knife and stabbed himself several times, but failed to land a fatal blow. Less than a month later, on February 10, 1794 while recovering in prison, Rue stabbed himself again, this time succeeding in killing himself. He was 41. Five, as the Enragés movement began falling apart, Jacques Ebert's more moderate left-wing faction known as the Ebertists tried to win over his former supporters and continue where he had left off. One. In popular culture Rue played by Elias Tufexis is featured in a mission in French Revolution set Assassin's Creed Unity, in which the player is tasked with assassinating him. In Peter Weiss's Merit, Chade, Rue is portrayed by an asylum patient in the Marquis de Chade's dramatization of Jean-Paul Merit's assassination. The actor's lines come under fire by the asylum directors, who have cut his dialogue. In most productions, the actor portraying Rue is costumed in a straight jacket, which symbolizes the asylum's desire to restrain political radicals such as himself. Topic: 
See also Reign of Terror <laughs>